I reckon one of the greatest things in life must be if you've got kids that are into the same things that you're into and you like enjoy doing stuff together like like you really enjoy doing stuff together Annabelle loves horse riding I'm allergic to horses <laughs> even when I pick up Annabelle after horse riding I start sneezing midges midges Give. We try out lots of things like walking, climbing, kayaking, swimming, snorkeling, whatever, you know, and, and nothing, nothing really takes. You know, we never find that thing that we all really love doing and love spending time together doing. But also, of course, kids change, you know, as they get older, right? Don't get me wrong, we like doing stuff together, we like being together, we have fun together, we play all sorts of games and we like walking, you know what I mean, but there's that thing, that, that thing that you really love doing and your kids really love doing and you spend a lot of time doing it together, wow that must be amazing. I guess that's one of the reasons why we keep trying so many different things. It's because you do, don't you? You want to uh, give your kids different experiences, different opportunities and see if something sticks for their sake. But also, if you try different things because you think you might find that thing that you all really, really like doing. It's alright, isn't it? Uh, Balgy Falls. So nice to see things like this on paths and gates. If I said I almost stepped on an otter, it would be an exaggeration. I came round this bend and surprised an otter and I was very close to him. I went into the water and I did that thing where I forgot I had a camera in my hand. I was so enjoying watching this otter. <laughs> so I just, I didn't pick it up until he was gone into the water. I'm getting blown out by the wind, which is never good, is it? Because it means I'm going to have to battle into the wind to get home. But some cool inlets and stuff right here to have a look at. So we can find. Oh, this is a Scottish lot. There's cool inlets in there. Having a little solo paddle, and uh, kid wouldn't enjoy this. It's too much wind go out with the wind and I'm going to hug the coastline back in. Uh, let me see if we can see some seals, some otters, that sort of thing. The wind is blowing me at five kilometres an hour, which is never a good sign, is it? I'm not doing anything, I'm just uh, bracing and let the wind blow me around. Let's hope it eases off by the time I go back, right?
was thinking about paddling around to the shop to get some whiskey but whilst paddling there might be fine I don't really fancy paddling back into the wind that far it's about eight kilometers go to the shop by kayak all right looks like we're gonna get some some protection around this bit. Jolly good. We've got mountain there, mountain there. Glens in between, the wind's blowing down, blowing down into each of these gullies. A seal popped up right next to me. Like as far away as my oar is. Scared the crap out of it. Didn't see me. Seals don't have very good vision. <laughs> so he went up and <laughs> splashed right back down again. That's cool. Oh! Some like little oyster catches. Mm -hmm. That is. Is that an otter or a seal over there? Can you see? Oh, and there's a seal there. Over there, just give me out. There's like four of them. You see the splashes? Golden eagle up there now. Could you get any more Scotland? Golden eagle, mountains, lock, seals. These guys, there he is, they remind me of, of kids. You know what I mean? Like kids, they're quite interested in you. They don't actually want to, it's like they come and look at you. They don't actually want to get too close. One, two, three. <laughs> there was a strong, strong gust blew off the mountain, so I nipped around here to hide behind a rock. It's interesting, isn't it? I've left their area, I think. And yeah, they're still keeping an eye on me. Marine mammals. They're cool. Oh, that wasp wound. More wind, what a surprise. Or needle territory, right? I can't even see what that was. That's been so eaten. Well, I can see it was a bird, but. It's the end of the lock and the Torridon Glen is up there. The shop is over there somewhere, but it's still like another kilometre and a half away, like a mile. I think it'll be shut, oh it's 20 past four. It'll be shut by the time I get there. See that fancy building over there? That's now a hotel. Ooh, lots of Highland cows in front of it. They have got a great whiskey bar. Yeah, ask me how I know. Almost there. I think I might get out and stretch my legs. No. What are you guys up to? Oh. 
Oh, I'm hot. Let's hope it's not so windy on the way back, eh? I was filming this sunset with my drone and the midge has distracted me so badly it's in a tree. Do you mean to take it down? I'm gonna keep moving because of the midges. Just keep moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's hanging on. <laughs> right, you... Are you <laughs> Right. I got you, Tony. I got you. I don't know why you're trusting oh. me, Hodge.